What is going on guys? It is yours truly, Tyler Reitz, also known as Trillis T. Today I am working on my 83 Sportster. And um, to be specific here, I'm working on painting the gas tank and I will be the first to tell you I don't know much and I'm learning as I go, so be easy on me. There's a few good videos I'll link below that go over removing the tank and to be honest with you guys, it's really, really simple. But for the people that do need it, I'll link it. I got the tank here, I just emptied it. What I did was I tipped it sideways and I pulled the, the filter out with just a one inch wrench. And um, I'm gonna strip it. And I'm gonna strip the gas tank with, I'm gonna strip the paint off with aircraft paint remover. And what my idea is, I kind of want to go for like a rusted rat rod look because I enjoy taking my bike out and about. I actually enjoy riding my motorcycle, not just looking at it. And I think that giving it a rusted tank look would be more befitting of my character and what I want out of this bike. So now you know. So first step right here is to uh, plug up the hole. So I got the main cap there, and then I plugged up that guy right there. I think I'm gonna wrap some tape around this uh, air valve, and then it should be ready to paint and hit up. I don't think it was thick enough because it doesn't look like other people's from videos. If you look, um, it's just like maybe the first glaze kind of thing. I'll show you. You know, maybe it needs some more time, but I just don't think it's thick enough is really what it's coming down to. Cause I, I know this needs to sit on here longer. I just don't think it's enough, so. Look at this, look at this. This is why you wear gloves. I got some of this on my hands and it's eating the gloves. You see that? It's bubbling. But this is what it's doing to the tank. Dude, wow. Right there, that, the paint's coming off. My idea is that my idea is that I want to go for a rustic antique kind of western look. And I watched a few tutorials, I'll link them below, but what the guy did was he poured beer on his bike tank and left it out for a week and some change. And sure as shit, it rusted. And so that's what I want to do. I want to rust it and then I'm thinking like maybe put some like caveman Native American art on it. I know that's not the right term, but. <laughs> Here is an update. I uh, poured beer on the motorcycle tank and I've left it out for a day and some change, but it's not aging or rusting as much as I'd like to. So I looked up some tutorials. Everyone's saying to use vinegar, hydroperoxide and salt, but some of that look is not exactly what I'm going for because it's extremely rusted. I'm going for something like a casual rust. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna hit this with vinegar and put some salt on and see what happens. Right. The demon, using the demon. Yeah, let's see what happens. I 
I think maybe doing a first coat like that, coming back and doing another one. Another update for you. I'm getting near to where I wanna be and I found out the great process and I will tell you two ways on how to get this amazing rust effect. I've noticed any sort of vinegar, that I'm using white vinegar, like I said before, it's on bare metal, it's gonna make it change and it's gonna, that acid is gonna make it turn yellow. So what I do is um, I take a little bit of vinegar, as you see here, like a little drop, I, it's just for example. You drip it and then you put some salt on it. Now this, what the vinegar does, like I said before, it's gonna make it turn yellow, but the salt, the salt's gonna make it dry and it's gonna leave this almost effect on the right. You, you see this right here? And somehow the, dry, um, the salt dried the vinegar and it left it behind. I think that that's super cool. I know um, I'm kind of really getting techy here, but I'm just showing you my methods. And that's gonna give it that really cool water droplet effect. I like it, I like it. So there's a lot of salt. I'm definitely gonna wash this off by tomorrow. I don't leave it on there for too long. Gotta be very gentle because this is Conte and Conte is wet, so to say. So there's a few things I learned about this as I'm doing it. If Since I'm using Conte, now Conte is like a powder pigment. Now this is getting really into art and I'll, if like you guys don't really want to know about this you can skip this part but what this is is it's pigment and it's it's powder the more you put on it the more powder it's going to get you got to kind of blow it off but it's got to have something to hold on to and this rust is the perfect thing for it but the more and more you push and the more and more you try to put this um this conte this powder powder crayon um you can get to bare metal and that's not good because it's not going to stick what i've noticed is I take, since I'm gonna mat, or how do I say this? I'm gonna seal this with a satin finish. So what I'm doing, I wanna work here. I wanna get some more stuff. I wanna get more Conte. So I'm gonna spray it. And now, you, we would do this, as, as artists, we do this on anything to just seal that coat and to work on another with Conte. That's how Conte works. So now I'm doing that on my tank. I'm, I'm seeing that it's pulling the rust a little bit away, so I don't wanna do it too much, but um, that's what I'm doing on this side so I can just keep, keep working. But dude, that's coming together. Oh man, this is cool. It's ready for a satin clear coat. Gonna shake this. And then I'm gonna do maybe six coats. I'm gonna get as much as I can on this and then see where I'm at. So that's the plan. Rustoleum. <laughs> 